get updated, the clues back in stock. Um, we had to update this board because the accelerometer gyroscope that we used for the original version um, got discontinued. And uh, so we had to replace it with one that's like a little bit better, but almost code identical. Um, if you have code that you have written for the clue, you'll need to recompile it uh, to detect the LSM 60S 3TR instead of the DS33. Otherwise, it's ex exactly the same. This the chip was, it's completely unavailable anymore. Um, and we finally ran through our old boards. So Clue is back in stock. Okay, next up. We have this uh, cute panel mount cable. Um, I like this cable because it has two ports, HDMI and USB-C, which like covers like a vast number of projects. It's everything. Where you have like power and data over USB Type-C, and you have video signal over DVI or HDMI. Um, I have monitors that are like that. They need USB-C power and they need HDMI. Yeah, and this is easy to mount. You can either mount it forward or back. Um, it's like a 22 millimeter diameter hole, and then the two um, the two holes are also 22 millimeter diameter. It's in the yeah. documentation if you need. But uh, one meter long cable, so it's like really easy to use and flexible to configure. Okay, next up. We have more gigantic netting. So this is 800 LEDs already in a grid oh. format, ready to use, abuse, put outside. We've had a, we had our version outside for about a month. Um, it has these okay. LED seed pixels with um, a durable uh, metal, like uh, a plastic coat coated metal wire, like, um, backplane so it's like it will maintain a grid you can kind of like pull it from the four corners it'll stay durable um, like i said it's you can use it outside i wouldn't leave it outside during a massive storm um but it will survive everyday use outside and uh here. just looks like new pixels so you drive it like a 40 by 20 grid um it's got mounting points and everything so you know if you want to Make it inexpensive. You can just get our seed pixels and kind of like DIY your own thing, and it's very cheap. But if you don't want to have to deal with DIYing your own grid, um, this one is ready to go and and easy to attach to a surface. Yeah, we'll have we'll show you it, how big it looks compared to a person too. It's point. it's yeah, it's tough to it's one meter by two meters, right? So it's two meters wide, one meter tall. So it's about as big as a person. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, you give it twelve volts for power, and then NeoPixel signal. Okay, and then next up, this whole series is part of Star of the Show. Besides you, Lydia, besides our team, besides our customers, besides the community is blink, 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 the thing that's driving all these. Yeah. It is our Sparkle Motion, which is finally in stock. We put in a couple dozen. Um, we had a nice. bit of a manufacturing excitement um, mm. during the first run, but that's a good time to find the manufacturing excitement. But uh, some of the microphones uh, didn't get soldered down well. We have we are repairing them, so we'll have more in stock soon. But we did get um, a bunch hand repaired thanks to the Fab team that uh, yeah. hauled hauled ass on that. We have two versions of the Sparkle Motion boards. Uh, so the Sparkle Motion board is a WLED, but doesn't have to be used with WLED or X lights driver board that I designed because I wanted to do um, LED displays, animations, and control for large numbers of LEDs with high voltages. Um, and so I designed something that was like very extensible and has all the stuff built in, so it's ready to go out of the box. So let's go to the overhead and I can point out all right, things. exciting. So let me, well, first off, I'll just show a quick demo. So this is just a, a very simple, you know, plugging into USB. This is yeah, a five volt USB the, demo with the little grid. The focus. Well, it's really bright. Yeah, but now it's going to be bright okay. and focused. Hold on. That's nice. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's like not that happy because it's... That's fine. Okay. Yeah. You can't have both. Um, so this is just it doing like a cool like rainbow DNA swirl on this uh, LED grid that I had in my sample bin. Um, and this is running a W, this is a WLED demo. I think it's called like DNA spiral or something. Yeah. And... Um, in this case, I'm just driving, you know, a small LED grid, but the, you know, to beta test this, I, I had it driving 2,400 LEDs um, with one of those outdoor nettings. So to make this kind of like the best WLED driver board, um, 
I kind of looked at what WLED supports and I kind of made sure that we had all of it. Also, we got a lot of great customer requests. So you can power it two ways over USB uh, power delivery or DC. And the DC jack is your standard, uh, you know, DC barrel jack from five to 24 volts. And the USB PD means you can plug it into a laptop charger and get um, you know, up 100 watt power easily. And you can select the voltage from USB PD over on this mechanical switch. So it's 5, 12, and 20 volts. And 20 volts will let you drive 24 volts uh, NeoPixel and other LEDs. It's like not 24, it's 20, but I found that 90% of the time it looks exactly the same. Um, and so this means that you don't have to have like a special power supply, especially since laptop supplies are really easy and inexpensive to get. And they often have support for these higher voltages like 12 and 24, uh, 12 and 20. And this is the USB PD driver. There's um, power management to give you a clean 3.3 volt for the um, ESP32 board over here. Uh, there's two power selection diodes. So whichever voltage is higher between the USB and DC will power the LEDs. And there's a five amp fuse. People ask me for five amp fuses and five amps is basically what these two connectors are rated for anyway. So that's, if you want more power, you can of course power your grids separately outside of this board. But if you want all in one solution, you can do up to five amps. You have a reset button, a user button for um, button inputs a built-in I2S digital microphone, um, a three-pin JST port, so connecting potentiometers, um, infrared receivers, um, uh, buttons or more LEDs or whatever, I squared C for connecting OLEDs, um, sensors, um, I expanders, whatever you want over I squared C, some more GPIO um, if you want um, extra outputs for connecting like an external I2S microphone or a rotary encoder if you want. Built-in infrared receiver for IR remote control. A uh, little NeoPixel indicator, which also just uses the NeoPixel output so you can test that um, the board is working and receiving signal. A little built-in LED uh, USB serial converter so you can just plug it in and program it um, very easily. And then terminal blocks with ground signal and power for three outputs. And each one is level shifted to five volts. So you can use it with any weirdo LED strip, no matter how picky it is. And the plus output of the terminal block will be whatever is either the DC voltage or the USB PD. So this is great because I have all these LEDs all the time that are like 12 volts or 20 volts. And I'm like, oh, now I got to wire this whole thing up, blah, blah, blah. But now I just pull this out plug in the DC, whatever voltage I want. And I can also measure the current very easily because it's going to, from my um, power monitor or use a USB cable that has a wattage output on it. And it's ready to go out of the box. You don't even need to use a soldering iron or anything. You just need a screwdriver, a small screwdriver to attach your LEDs. Uh, use 20 to 26 wire gauges are also rated for five amps a piece. And on the bottom, all the pins are labeled so you can easily look them up when you're like programming WLED or X lights. And we'll be doing tutorials on how to use um, WLED and X lights with this board as well. But, you know, I wanted to make something that for like 25 bucks gives you everything you need to do pretty advanced LED control. And then we also have the version, um, if you click here, yeah. if you're like, well, but what if it's in a metal box? Cause it's outside and I want to put in a water waterproof box. What if? This version has a WFL connector. You can connect an external antenna to it. So it says cellar door because that's the door is open. Yes. It doesn't have the built-in antenna. You do need to buy a separate WFL adapter. We have them in the shop and then you can connect an external antenna. And that way you can have this in a metal box. You can have this outdoors and it's like far away from um, your Wi-Fi, and um, it'll work great. I had a couple people already asked me about doing ethernet um with this and i'll i'll see i think that you might be able to set up an ethernet 5 but for now this is a wi-fi setup it's a esp32 classic so you can do bluetooth classic bluetooth low energy and wi-fi with it okie dokie and with that lady ada is our new products of the week get sparkly this week <laughs> No, 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 no.